सो गुड आफ्टरनून अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटरफेस डिज़ाइन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मेन्यूज वी ऑल्सो स्टडीज हायरारकिकल मेन्यूज सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बिगिन विथ कनेक्टेड मेन्यूज मेन्यूज कनेक्टेड मेन्यूज आर नेटवर्क ऑफ मेन्यूज ऑल इंटर कनेक्टेड इन सम मैनर सो ऑल द मेन्यूज आर कनेक्टेड और इंटर कनेक्टेड इन सम मैनर ओके अ कनेक्टेड मेन्यू सिस्टम मे बी साइक्लिकल विथ मूवमेंट परमिटेड इन ईदर डिरेक्शन बिटवीन द मेन्यूज और अ साइक्लिकल विथ मूवमेंट परमिटेड इन ओनली वन डायरेक्शन द बिगेस्ट डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ अ कनेक्टेड मेन्यू नेटवर्क इज दैट इट गिवज अ यूजर फुल कंट्रोल ओवर द नेविगेशन फ्लो हवेवर इट्स डिसएडवांटेज इज इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो द एडवांटेज इज it gives the user full flexibility of going forth backwards wherever he wish uh, however the disadvantage it's its complexity okay sometimes uh, uh, it becomes too complex for the user to understand okay where exactly he has to move forward or backward so okay uh, the example is given here yeah this is what is this is how a connected menu looks like so all of them are connected to the together so user can go straight away to menu 7 or he can go to menu 2 or menu 4 or menu 5 or menu 3 okay so it is connected menu so let us see some examples here i have just opened some uh so this is one website uh, maybe some uh, something like uh uh e uh, something like uh, mitra uh, mintra what we, we what we have okay so why i'm showing this is you, you just move your cursor to denim it shows all the menus related to that denim you go to bottoms okay then there is a menu then collections so wherever you are you are moving your cursor to that specific uh, menu header on it it displays only that okay so again you look at the quality uh, the way they have uh, made all these things uh, so they have designed this web website really beautiful okay uh, so then there is another option uh, there is one more here so uh, you can see again this is a very very beautifully uh, designed website uh, okay squares space.com okay so you can see here again look at the menu structure here okay look at the way this arrow uh, moves so the okay so the mo now you could see the moment i i move my cursor then that arrow comes up so that is how uh, okay so uh, again if i go to resources see look how exactly they are presenting this see the see the arrow here okay so uh, then again the way they have represented this um, in the information is is really appealing okay so then there is another website uh, green and mota uh, look here wherever i am moving my, cur my cursor you could see the arrow is moving so look here so i don't you click anywhere it it takes you to the next thing okay then again uh, you could see again you can go backwards okay so if you move your mouse uh, i mean pointer here you go forward and if you go your mouse here you you can go okay so similarly you could see all projects so this is how they have represented so you can okay everything is is represented okay then they have provided this different ways of looking at the things okay then there is uh, one more uh, beautiful website and culture.com so look here the way the color combinations the the okay suddenly you could see the color change okay so the moment i i am going up I, it comes back to the white background the moment i i i bring it in the middle of the screen it automatically gets highlighted okay so see here look here yeah see okay oh these are some of uh, the beautiful uh, designs 
uh, have come across okay we will see one by many many more examples in the coming classes so next kind of menu is event uh, tapping uh, trapping menus event trapping menus event trapping menus provide an ever present background of control over the system's state and parameters while the user is working on a foreground task event uh, trapping means uh, something is happening and suddenly you want to trap that event or you want to go to that particular event or you want to exit the current uh, menu content and you go to somewhere else okay that is you can call it as a event uh, trapping menu so event trapping menus generally serve one of the three functions the first one is they may immediately change some parameter in the current environment for example bold a piece of text for example see see now i, I have made it bold okay so okay they may take the user out of the current environment to perform a function without leaving the current environment for example spell uh, spell check okay the, the, even i have highlighted by staying within the same environment i did not change it now you see i i, I removed it then they may exit the current environment and follow the user to move to a totally new environment for example exit so here if i exit application then you are totally going out of the current environment a paste option in a word processing application for example will only function if there is something in a cl clipboard to paste if i if i just click without copying anything if i just uh, cannot paste anything okay then uh, <coughs> we'll we'll start with the functions of menu so just now we saw different kinds of menus we'll begin with understanding different functions of menus okay so uh, what are the functions uh, you can the user can perform using the menus from the user's perspective a menu can be used to perform several functions to navigate to a new menu to execute an action or procedure to display information or to input data or parameter so these are the four functionalities a user can perform on the menus or using the menus so the first one navigation to a new menu so each user selection causes another menu in a hierarchical menu tree to be displayed for example okay so this menu i'll be using to go further to the next menu okay uh, that is navigation navigation to a new menu then execute an action or procedure a user selection directs the computer to implement an action or perform a procedure for example if i click if i say open so this is something something i have okay uh, some action is is performed the action this action may be something like opening or a closing a file or it can be a copying text or sending a message the third function functionality is displaying the information the main purpose of selecting a menu choice may simply be to display some information so just now we have seen many examples where menus are basically used to just to display the information okay so users uh, uh, focus is primarily on the information desired and less on the selection function so you basically user is searching for or looking for some information and uh, we are providing uh, that information through the menus and the final uh, functionality of a menu is data or a parameter input a menu can be used to for example uh, this multiple choice online multiple choice question so uh, four menus uh, will be given uh, okay you can click any particular uh, okay selection then uh, okay one answer can be selected so basically menus can be used for data or parameter input each selection specifies a piece of input data for the system or provides a parameter value so uh, i think we will we will uh, begin the next thing that is content of menus in the next video thank you thank you for uh, listening to this video